in betwixt our diesel work, we are going to bang out a headlight recall and a crown vet. I'm here to tell you that you will not find a better collection of, of finer automobiles than a Ford dealer who is performing a lighting control module bypass kit. I'm talking A plus rigs that come rolling in the door for this thing. So, so uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take advantage of this in ground lift. Doesn't have any post around it. And lift the car up. So, because you got to lean under the dash, and I can kind of stand up and work on it. So this works really well for doing what I'm getting ready to do or working on door panels, door latches, stuff like that because I can just stand up and get everything comfortable. And if I want to take the door panel off and work on the window regulator, like stand up, I don't have to crouch down, it works real good. It's like a wind tunnel in here. So this is the kit. It comes with uh, basically just a couple of relays in here. The wiring arms to wire it up. And then uh, a bunch of heat shrink and some zip ties. <clears throat> and it's pretty they did a really good job. did a really good job of putting this together because all the wire colors match up the colors that you're cutting on the, heart, the vehicle. They've already put these uh, bug connectors on here which are man just out of this world. I'd rather use these than solder. The majority of the time I do. Um, so like right here I've already cut. We got to cut a wire on that connector, a wire on this connector, and then four wires on that connector. And I just went ahead and I, I cut the wire on here, which is red and yellow. And I cut the wire on here, which is purple and orange. And it'll correspond to purple and orange and the red and yellow. Can't, can't mess it up. And you just splice them all in. So it's kind of Let's see if I can get you in here. It's kind of difficult to get me and all of you guys in here at the same time. Let me let me get uh, let me get see if I can't get it set up. So first things first, <clears throat> first we got to put heat shrink on our wire, and this heat shrink's a little long, as you can see. Um, so I'll trim it down a little bit. We don't need nowhere near that much. And when you're working in close quarters, it's nice to be able to have. This heat shrink gets kind of bulky when you get down to the connector. So if I can keep it up here a little more, it's just a little, a little more tidy. So we're gonna trim that. Now the, it will shrink some, so we don't want to cut it too much. So we're gonna trim it down about like that. We need the five wire harness, two, four, five, not the six one. This side is six. And we're gonna connect to the purple with the orange. So we'll take the slider heat shrink down over that guy. And we'll take these fancy pliers. And you get a perfect crimp every time. We've got three jaws. So we'll go in the first one because we've got the smallest heat shrink, I mean the smallest butt connector. It's a small, basically red, blue, uh, yeah, red, blue, and yellow. So we're dealing with pretty small gauge wire here. We'll get it in there, get it set up. We'll bring it over to here. 
biggest thing is we want to make sure the wire actually goes in the barrel. And then just crimp it till the pliers stop. And it's a perfect crimp every time. We'll do the same thing with the other side. The other sides are purple with orange. Slide our heat shrink. Get our butt connector in there. And we want to make sure our insulation doesn't get into the butt connector, the barrel. So we're good there. I'll do the same thing with the red and yellow. I like this, it makes it uh, foolproof. You can't really mess this up. So we'll take our red yellow wire, slide our heat shrink over it. This is going to go to our connector side. I'm going to take our other side. This will go up to our harness. Now we'll do the same with the last connection and these other four wires. <clears throat> so we've got brown, orange, white, black, and gray. So let's get these out of the way. over here all right so pin four is our brown wire and that would be one, two three four pin six is orange and white so that's these two guys so we get access to our brown wire here. We'll cut it about right there. Then we want an orange white wire. Cut it in about the same spot. Just not a lot of room to work with here. <clears throat> Go ahead and strip these and connect them while we're here because the other two are on the other side of the connector. Now we gotta do is shrink our heats. I gotta use a heat gun. I use a heat gun to heat heat shrink. Um, but I, it's you know we're in the interior, a lot of carpet, plastic, stuff like that. And I don't want to catch the car on fire, so I just use a license plate as a, a shield, if you will. This car is not worth fifteen dollars, so I don't need to total loss it if we catch it on fire. Now, this is not a super critical outdoor operation, so this heat shrinks a little overkill. That's that. So we'll continue on, do the other two hundred wires, and then we will button this thing up.
we got all our wires connected and heat shrinked. It's pretty simple, not a lot to it. Um, just color to color. Couldn't really be any easier. Uh, this thing's smoking hot from heat sinking it, shrinking it. So we're gonna let this cool down for a little bit and then we're gonna put it back together. Now I took off way more than you have to. You don't have to take off anywhere near as much stuff as I took off. But I wanted to be able to get in here and get to this and, and do as good a job as possible, even on a raggedy piece of crap car such as this. Uh, everybody deserves the same quality of work, in my opinion. So I took this bracket off, which goes up there where those two bolts are right there. And then there's a little cover that goes up there. And then the actual, that bracket holds the lighting control module in. So I took that out. And then I'll see these covers that go right here. Now, I would imagine that if you're really flat rate, really fast hustler, you can do the whole job without taking any panels off. But um, it'd be a trick for sure. Now Ford wants you to put the, this piece they want you to put this piece over here uh, but I really I hate running wires under the steering column because at some point in time this car may need to come apart the column may need to come out of it um, the dash may need to come out of it for whatever reason and when you've got a harness that doesn't belong there like that it's just it's frustrating so I think that I can stuff this over here I think I can put that right in there somewhere and tie that up nice and neat and keep everything localized on this side and keep it from under, out from under the column. So I'll attempt that. The next step is uh, to wrap all this up and make it look like something. So let's put some tape on it. So I've got this cloth tape. Uh, let's see here. What is this stuff? Uh, I don't even know what it is. Made in Germany, whatever it is. Coroplast. Anyway, it's it's nicer than electrical tape. I like it better. And we don't need to keep this from being electrified. Everything is all shielded and all that good stuff. We just want to kind of clean it up a little bit. It's a little bit messy. I have problems getting this down the road. I'm going to slack in this harness. All right, we'll get to right here. We'll stop this run. So we're going to connect it with another one. Go ahead and plug in our LCM here so we can get them where they lay. You want to get them all taped up and then can't do anything with them can't put this in such a permanent position that the next guy won't be able to do anything with it. Gotta make it serviceable. Don't want anybody cussing at us. Man, this stuff's hard to tear. So what do you think? Would you consider this, uh, you saw this to be added on after the fact? That wasn't on there from the factory? All right, let's reinstall this thing. So let's disconnect these. out of here ok 
Okay. Now let's put some of this stuff back in place. So like I said, I took this off. Not necessary. Just kind of helped out. Get in here a little easier. I'm not even sure what this does. Except be in the way. We'll put our kind of bracket on that holds the lighting control module. Don't know if you saw any of that. Nah, you didn't see any of it. Now let's put on the lighting control module. This just slides into this bracket and then has a couple of bolts that hold it in place so it won't go anywhere. Real overkill. So there's that. You got this little guy here. And you got one on the other side over here. It's kind of hidden by the NATO weight wiring. Anybody ever tells you this thing's hard to get out of here, don't let them lie to you. As you can see, there ain't nothing to it. Put our connectors back in. Well, it's not the best looking in the world, but I was able to stuff it over in that corner uh, out of the way. It doesn't interfere with the what's left of the drink holder. And the wires go down and over and up to where they belong. Uh, you have unencumbered access to the steering column. So that's it. That's a lighting control module bypass kit. Thanks for watching.